Good evening folks, uh, tonight I thought we'd take a look at yet another cheapo AliExpress product um, and this time it's the 747D MP3 decoder and FM receiver module and this is available for around uh, £1.20 including delivery to the UK as I said from AliExpress. So I thought we'll have a look around the unit uh, first and um, we can see it's got a standard USB socket, uh, micro SD or trans flash card socket um, an auxiliary input, uh, four buttons in the front controlling the volume, uh, mode and scanning and skipping tracks etc. And this a light purple smoked uh, piece of plastic just to make the LED display a bit more readable in bright, brighter lighting conditions. On the uh, top of the unit we've got uh, obviously our socket, we've got three sockets on here which are for, let me see... Yeah, we've got stereo in, stereo out, and a 5 volt input. Uh, now, presumably, this can have an input internally, you know, from if you had to say, for instance, you were mounting this in an enclosure and you wanted an auxiliary in from a rear connector, um, you could obviously do that um, or use the, the uh, auxiliary in in the front. Get a little uh, electrolytic cap at a nice jaunty angle. Similarly, the crystal is a, a similarly uh, jaunty angle just because they've cut the lead so short it's, you can actually fold that down onto the board. Uh, we can see the rear of the, the display. It's one of these uh, potted LED ones. And um, a couple of packages on here. We've got um, this big, well not big, it's actually quite small uh, compared to this jeweler screwdriver. But yeah, it's just a small quad flat pack and that'll be doing our MP3 decoding um, and we've got a small antenna connector here which is in very close proximity to this um, package here so I'm presuming that will be our FM tuner. Uh, on the bottom we've got our four switches uh, the, under, you know the, the actual three and a half mil auxiliary input connector and a SD card slot, a micro SD card slot but saying SD card slot though, it does look like there is provision to, to accept a full size SD card slot. So presumably they uh, sell this in different uh, models. Um, you know, and they can just remove these two and put a full full size card slot on there. Depending on uh, the model that they want to sell. Get a nice little sort of uh, generic Chinese remote control. You see these in lots of Chinese products nowadays. Uh, two little caps to cover the screws once that, uh, the unit's been installed in, in its enclosure. And we do get three cables. We get this one. I've already opened, uh, clearly I've already opened the package. And I don't know if you can see how badly crimped, um, badly crimped that is. Yeah, they've just sort of repurposed, I think, uh, some old connectors and tried to make them fit. But no, that's not ideal. And we get, um, we actually get two of these leads. One I've already prepped just to speed the video up. But yeah, it's just a, you know, generic um, PCB type connector. Not a GST. Maybe a GST, I can't remember. I'm not a connector aficionado. Um, but yeah, those just simply plug into the, the sockets on the board. Now, I said I'd already prepped uh, a lead. And that's what I'll just show you now. Yeah, I just had one of these uh, stereo to stereo um, 3.5mm leads that you get with a computer. And we've got loads of these at work. You know, when they replace the computers, they tend just to replace the base unit. And we end up with hundreds upon hundreds of uh, these type cables, power leads and, you know, video cables. So, yeah, I just grabbed a few of these for this project. And all I've done is uh, this uh, three-way connector, um, I've just soldered onto um, the... The audio lead ground to ground and obviously left and right audio uh, as detailed on the board as you can see there or here i should say lo for left out ro for right out and ground obviously in the middle so i thought we'll just try it out now um, and see if it works so we'll plug what's out output in here and I know I've not insulated these, I've just sort of bent them out of the way. Um, obviously, if you're going to be putting this in a sort of permanent installation, um, you will insulate that in as well uh, and make sure it's all nice and tidy. I have to say, though, if you, if you are going to um, 
if you are going to use this as a you know as a music player for you know in the workshop or to take it around with you i would recommend probably uh, replacing these leads or soldering directly onto the the pads in the back or at the bottom i should say because the the, the wires it's just like a single solid core conductor in the middle so any sort of movement that's gonna gonna break off um right and we'll pop our power in Okay, now let's check. So, 5 volts is on the right, which is the dashed lead. So, I'll stick my bench power supply on. Set 5 volts. And we will see if she powers up. Okay, so it says hi when we turn it on. And uh, yeah, so we'll see if we can get some audio out of this thing. So I'm going to use my Soundlink Mini 2, which is a great little bit of kit if you've not seen my other video. 80%. And. And that's a nice white noise. But really surprisingly, I get really bad reception in the workshop and even without an antenna that is picking up some that is picking up some music which is a bit odd. So we'll try and put this on here. Yeah, it's not brilliant. Let's try and scan. Radio One. Right, I think that's enough of that. Okay, so it, it does pick up audio, which is, uh, it, sorry, it does pick up radio, which is really unusual. Obviously, like I say, it's not perfect quality just because of the antenna. Again, if you're going to be using this in a permanent enclosure, you would probably just uh, solder directly onto the board and then the other end put onto a proper sort of telescopic antenna or your other suitable antenna. Um, so we're on to line input now, so I think probably what we'll try and do is well, use the line input. So I shall plug the lead in there. And I'll just use my S7. And we'll play this. Don't know what you okay, so that, that obviously works. Um, yeah, so there's no dramas with that. But of course, the main point of this is it's an MP3 decoder. So I've got some royalty-free music on... In fact, it's the same royalty-free music I use for that uh, Minions. Um, in fact, I've got it here, which I used to play on the the Minions MP3 player video. If you haven't seen that one, so we'll just pop the card in. It's interesting that it went to almost a minute in when it started. Alright, so our volume is controlled by holding down the scan button. But that is, again, like the Minions one, that sounds absolutely fantastic. There's absolutely no problems with that whatsoever.
yeah, I mean that, that works perfectly. Now we'll try the remote control and see if it works. So just try your volume. Yeah, that's working fine. I'll turn this up actually, then we'll just use the... So volume, skip, pause, play, mode. That's clearly not royalty free music, but never mind. to mp3 so mute works um, as you can probably see there the, 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 clo uh, the timer does continue to go round so it is just turning on and off now there's an equalisation button here so let's see if that does anything Yeah, there's um, six different um, equalisation uh, settings. That's obviously quite bassy. That's really bassy. That's definitely lower end treble. Well, sorry, trebly. That's a mid range. You can set repeat one all. Yeah. Stop. And power it off. That's, I mean, that that's a really fantastic little piece of kit as far as I'm concerned. For the money, um, you know, what, you know what, what more can you expect from that? Yes, it's plasticky. Yes, it looks cheap, you know, especially with this music speaker's silk screen on the, on the front. But, you know, look at the size of it. Um, if you've got a really old car or um, not a boat, I suppose you wouldn't want a water to get into it quite easy. But if you've got a really old car that only has a cassette deck or something like that, um, you know you could you could just hack this into the front of your your uh, your old uh, radio cassette in the car, or you know just take out your entire radio cassette. Um, get one of the you know the blanking plates to, f to fit in the a uh, single din um slot and then just screw this into the front of it you know it'd be perfectly acceptable and um, you do get versions of this with bluetooth as well so it's an extremely extremely cheap uh upgrade for your car stereo isn't it um but of course, like like I say, I'm I'm really surprised this picks up uh, FM. So I might actually just put this in a box and use it in the watch shop. Um, try to think what else you could use it for. But you know, it's it's really you know it's really quite decent actually. I'm quite surprised. Um, the only thing you're going to have to consider if you're going to use it in the car, uh, I should well, I should have said this when I was talking about cars, we we're going to have to drop down the voltage to five volts. So we could just use a little. Um, you know, just a five volt regulator. Um, I think you can. It, it said in the the listing that it can accept up to one and a half amps, and it will output a, a, an amp. You know, a thousand milliamps on the USB. Um, I'm not so sure. I'd really want to do that. Um, the tracks on this are very very small. Um, so I'm, you know, like I say, I'm not sure. I'd I'd really want to trust trust it. To carry that amount of current, um, so you know, you know, I suppose that's up down to yourself and whether you're willing to take that risk. I certainly wouldn't be, you know, putting in a six or seven hundred pound mobile phone into this to charge. But uh, again, if you've got a crappy old mobile phone, you don't really worry about, you know, it's a, and again, it's an additional uh, feature of it that you can charge your phone from it. But yeah. That kind of get away from the point of trying to make yeah we would need to fit a five volt regulator onto this so um if we're just going to use it for the mp3 player then clearly we don't really need to think about heat sinking etc um but if we're going to be using it for charging phones and, and that full current um we'd really want uh, 
heat sinking on a, a, a regulator just to prevent it from overheating and eventually failing. Um, that's about it guys, uh, sorry, I, I know I'm, I like to ramble on, uh, I do apologise for that. <laughs> um, if you don't like me rambling on then please comment and I'll do my utmost to, to stop doing it in my videos but I'm conscious of going on and on as I'm doing now. <laughs> But um, yeah, there we go guys, that was the 747D um, MP3 decoder and FM receiver module uh, available from Aliexpress um, for around a quid, quid and a half, something like that. Or a couple of dollars if you're in America. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed that, found it useful, please give me the thumbs up. And as always, if you would be so kind, please subscribe um, and I'll hopefully be back with you soon for another video. Until then, enjoy your weekend guys and take care of yourselves. All the best.